Hello everyone, it is Tuesday, November 12th, 2019. Of course, tomorrow is New Comic Book Day, and since I've been getting a great amount of response as it relates to these Tuesday videos, where I talk about the books that I'm looking forward to on Wednesday, I thought I would do another one. So we are going to jump right into these books. These are quick videos, and these are books that I personally am looking forward to, because a lot of you have had that question for me, and books that I think might have the opportunity to be a decent investment book down the road for those of you who are looking for that uh, type of book. So the first book we're talking about, Black Cat Annual Number 1, and this has a J. Scott Campbell uh, cover. J. Scott Campbell is an amazing artist, has a huge following, and so his covers usually sell really, really well, and tomorrow is going to be no exception because it is a really, really cool looking cover. Uh, next up, Morbius has a new storyline, Morbius Number 1. Now I personally, being a huge fan of vampires, I'm looking forward to this because it's been a while since a really, really good vampire storyline come out uh, came out. So I have high hopes for this storyline, and I am going to pick it up. There are multiple covers on this one, so pick the covers that you personally like. I don't think this is going to have any real significant value down the road, but if you like that type of stuff, this is a good pickup. Uh, For Real is a one-shot inspired by two significant events in Jack Kirby's life, and I am looking forward to this one again. There's a little bit of uh, talk about this book. A lot of people are kind of looking forward to it. And I don't know how many each shop orders for this. I am uh, getting a couple of these. I did put an order in for it, so I am looking forward to picking these up. Again, that's For Real. It's a one-shot uh, that has uh, two significant events in uh, Jack Kirby's life in this book. So there's that. Uh, Hawkman number 18. This is the first full appearance of Sky Tyrant, who is Hawkman in the Dark Multiverse. The Dark Multiverse storylines have been really, really well. And again, here's another one that this character might not do anything. Hawkman, uh, I, I don't see that book selling real well, at least in my area. Uh, I am not a huge Hawkman fan, but whenever you have the opportunity to pick up a book with a brand new character, it's usually something that you would try to grab. So that's Hawkman number 18. Uh, next up, Dollhouse Family number one. Two covers on this. And again, this is just another one of those books that if you if you read the storyline on it, you kind of look at the way it is. It's just something that you think be made for television uh, down the road or a Netflix type of thing. Uh, again, Dollhouse number one, two covers on that, uh, a cardstock cover and then a regular cover. I am getting copies of both covers. And again, this is kind of right down my aisle. Creepy Kid, Dollhouse, I'm all over that. And then finally, the book that I think is going to be uh, the big book of the day tomorrow is Tales from the Dark Multiverse, Blackest Night. This is the appearance of a new character on that. And again, the Dark Multiverse storylines have been really, really well, have done very, very well, and they've been pretty good. Uh, we had the Lois Lane, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago. And then this week, again, we have the Dark Multiverse uh, with the Blackest Night storyline, uh, which I am looking forward to reading right there. So those are the books that I'm looking forward to. There's a lot of books coming out tomorrow. Um, I don't know how many I'm truly going to pick up. I'm going to pick up the ones that I talked to you about on the list, and I will be showing those uh, on my new comic book pickup videos. And then I will try to show some older books as well because those of you like that. Now, this weekend is a comic convention. It is the Great American Con. Uh, I, I, I've gone to this convention the last couple of years. I haven't made the decision if I'm going to this one because, quite frankly, uh, the advertising on this convention really isn't that great. And there's not a lot of good, you know, artists. I kind of look for things that are more um, vintage, pre-code. And I haven't been able to find a whole lot of that at this convention in the last few years. So I don't know if um, I'm going to go. I might go just to walk around and take a look at it. I have high hopes. I, I'm hoping for a good convention because I would like to see several conventions in the Las Vegas area. Uh, if this doesn't work, then, of course, we have the, the convention scheduled for next year. And then hopefully uh, this one here, Great American Con, this weekend at the convention center uh, picks up a little bit of steam and continues to grow in a positive and not negative manner. So uh, there are a couple of big sellers that are going to be there. Red Hood, Red Hood Comics is going to be selling there. Uh, he has a lot of, you know, vintage books. And then Harley Yee, of course, and then a lot of uh, some local shops, uh, Shrimp and Sons, uh, just, I mean, like I said, uh, I'm hoping for something really big on this. I kind of rattled, you know, rambled on that at the end. It's not a very expensive convention. If you uh, are a veteran, active duty first responder, they'll give you a weekend pass for five bucks, which is a good value. So that's a positive right there. 
Um, I didn't see a ton of big artists that are going to be there. So again, we'll keep our fingers crossed. I haven't made the decision. I may or may not go to one of the days. But if I do, I will definitely talk about that in my new conflict pickup video. And so there we got there again. Uh, the two big books for tomorrow for me, Tales from the Dark Multiverse, Blackest Night, number one. And then Dollhouse Family, number one. And then again, with you uh, J. Scott Campbell fans, of course, the... Black Cat Annual comes out tomorrow. So that's pretty much what we have right now. So there's my video. Again, these are going to be really short and sweet. Uh, just something to kind of put your mind on. And again, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the positive comments. If you like these videos, put it in the comments. Tell me to keep doing them. Uh, you know, or give me suggestions on what different you would like to see on these. So that's all we got. So I hope you liked this video. But as always, if you didn't, nothing I can do for you. Have a great, great day. Happy hunting tomorrow. And I'll see you in a couple days.